Investors. Uh, I am Stephen Davis, <clears throat> Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures. It's Friday, July 1st, here to talk to you about the grain markets. We had the June 30th crop report, big report yesterday, bullish soybeans and bearish corn. And initially, soybeans went down in that report. They saw the, the ending stocks on soybeans. It was a burdensome number, but what rallied the soybeans was the acreage uh, that went into soy, and we'll talk about that in one minute time. We'll start with corn here this morning. It's hard to believe that December corn was at 449 two Fridays ago. We've had a massive liquidation in corn. A lot of traders are stuck long corn in here, and that's what's going on. Um, there's a big weather event. It's supposed to rain next week. That's really, really important for the corn market. So the report yesterday, two things against corn. Number one, ending stocks on corn are burdensome. And number two, corn acres in co uh, are very large. And I was comfortable with this. Farmers, U.S. farmers, are very good at planting corn. And that's what you guys do. So... Kudos to you. Uh, no surprise there to me. And so you really got a one-two punch here in the corn market. Um, the most important thing now is the weather here this time of the year for corn. And we got cooler temperatures. There's normal rain in the forecast. So we'll see how this unfolds. Uh, soybean market. And like I touched on, that report came out yesterday. And ending stocks on soybeans are burdensome. That's bearish. So we traded off a little bit. But uh, the acres that were were 1.5 million soybean acres. The trade was estimated 1.7 million acres. We've had this $3 rally in soybean since early March. So some of the talk in the trade, there could be 2 million, 3 million more acres of soybeans yesterday. So this was a bullish report and the funds jumped on this. And so the funds are buy, uh, supporting their buying in here with more buying. And this is going to continue until it does not. Personally, I don't know that soybeans are going to break that much here in July. We're going to have to wait till August and get a good read on weather and what it's like there. If the weather's like that 30 days from now, like it is today, cooler temperatures, normal rainfall, it's going to be hard for soybeans to continue to go higher. Okay, a lot of this money coming into soybeans is Chinese money. The Chinese love to buy U.S. soy. So this can be turned off, can be turned on very quickly. So off and on, on and off. So be careful. Uh, we'll kind of keep talking about this. But, you know, the Chinese, they regulated their equity markets a couple of years ago. Money's looking for a home. And keep in mind, you got many, many, many Chinese millionaires. Uh, their, their upper middle class is going to be 100 million people here in a few years. So the appetite for the grains and U.S. grains goes unabated. So we'll see about that. Uh, wrapping this up. Um, this is July 1st. We're closed on Monday. The grain markets will open Tuesday morning at 8.30 Central Standard Time. And really, really important. They're calling for rains next week. And uh, that'll be the driving force Sunday night and Monday, uh, Monday night as well. And then we'll get back to you and talk to you next weekend. From all of us here at RJL Futures, happy 4th of July to everybody. Thank you.